Hello and welcome to the lecture, The Theories of the Origins of the Moon. There are several observations, much like in our solar system, that we must take into account when determining which theory best supports the origins of the moon. The first actual observation is, the Earth has an iron core. The moon rocks do not have any iron in them. The Earth's average density is 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter, whereas the Moon's average density is only 3.3 grams per cubic centimeter. Earth has a specific isotope of oxygen. The Moon has the same unique isotope of oxygen. Earth has a large Moon compared to its size. The moon's orbit is 5 degrees off of the orbital plane of the planets. The moon is deficient in nitrogen and carbon. And moon rock contain almost no water. So when taking into account a theory of the origins of the, of the moon, we must take these observations into account when trying to come to that supportive theory. Currently, there are four proposed hypotheses that explain the origins of the moon. The first theory is the co-accretion or simultaneous formation hypothesis. This hypothesis states that the moon formed at the same time and in the same manner as Earth. Looking back, it's the nebular theory or the protoplanet theory as being the most widely accepted. The next theory is the fission theory. This states that at one time the Earth was spinning so fast that a portion of it flung off the Pacific Ocean, they believe, resulting in the material forming our moon. This was proposed by George Darwin. Yes, that brother of Charles Darwin. The next theory we will look at is the capture theory. The capture theory states that the moon forms somewhere else outside of our solar system and while traveling past the Earth was gravitationally captured and keeping it in orbit. And finally we have the giant impact theory. This theory states that the moon formed as a result of a cosmic collision that resulted in the moon accreting from debris which surrounded the planet after this collision. So now the question remains is which theory best explains the origins of the moon? Whenever you go through this activity, you'll be looking at all of the observations and seeing which theory is actually best supported. If you have any questions on these theories, please do not hesitate to contact me and I will explain them further. 